I'm exhausted and I haven't even gotten started. This is a mess. I definitely need to make sure it works. This is my fragrance oil collection. I need to get this done. So here we are. I've been saying it for so long that I need to reorganize honestly the entire workshop. Today we're just doing the lab. It was set up obviously for me to have my business. All of these on the shelf, I mean not so much anymore, was all the ingredients I used for my business. And then obviously we have all the containers up here, all of these containers. And then I kept like all my bulk containers here. And then over here is just like ingredients I use for fun and like for YouTube and stuff. Basically it's a wreck in here. I need to rearrange everything, clean everything. So I think I'm just gonna start with like removing all of the big things from the room. now what I'm doing currently is I do have like a good bit of ingredients that don't have dates on them and I'm not 100% sure like when I purchase them and if they're expired so I'm like going back and looking at my order history and putting dates and as of right now I'm just putting everything in categories this isn't gonna be their permanent spot I'm just kind of sitting sitting them there so they have a place to be once everything is organized in categories, I'm gonna go through and actually put everything where it belongs. And this is what I use to make my labels for like the dates on all my items. It just makes little labels like this, and then I can just attach them to the back of the product. And honestly, I don't know why I'm just now buying one of these. I should have bought them long ago. It will come in handy either way. It sounds fun. It's an incubator. I have no idea what to do with it for now, but Exciting. I definitely need to make sure it works before my time to return it is up. This is also the incubator they sell on Lotion Crafter. That's actually why I picked it. Because I knew they sold an incubator, so I went on there to buy it, but it was out of stock. I will link it down below. So it's now almost 7 o'clock, and I've been at this since, oh my gosh, I think like 10, 11 o'clock. So where I'm at, I have went through making cosmetics, lotion crafter, and all of formulator sample shops ingredients. I still have a good bit of like brambleberry ingredients I gotta go through, some wholesale supplies plus, all my fragrance oils, and then I think that's it. I haven't even cleaned these three shelves yet. Basically, I'm probably maybe halfway done. I'm exhausted and I haven't even gotten started. And it's already 4 p.m. Everything has been bleached and sanitized from here all the way to there. And then over here, I just kind of have all of my organizing containers that I could find laid out here so I can see what I'm working with. Over here, this is a mess. These are all of my fragrance oils, essential oils, flavor oils, and then like right here we have micas, and then more micas there, and then like some other colorings over here. That I'm gonna deal with last.
I have now gotten all of my ingredients organized except for the colorings and fragrance flavor oils and like essential oils. So, so I wanted all of my ingredients to be just Basically, if I'm standing here, I want to be able to see all of them. I don't want to forget I have anything, so I don't want anything hidden behind anything. If I have anything hidden behind something, it's just like a refill. I also wanted to have like all of the surfactants, preferably like right here. I left these three shelves empty for all the coloring and fragrances. I have this awesome rack and I just bought another one like last night should be here later this week and I'm gonna put it here for now I kind of made like my own like DIY version of it so now let's go ahead and organize all of these all right so here we have all the fragrance oils and I decided to just kind of group them together by supplier I feel like that kind of just looks best to my eye but here we have all of our flavor oils again I just grouped them by supplier and then here we have all of the essential oils that is that and honestly that took up a lot less space than I thought it looks like I have a lot less once they're laid out like this rather than how they were before in the bins so now we just have all of my coloring I'm officially done organizing. This took me so long. I'm exhausted, I'm so over this. But now it's time to start actually cleaning the rest of the room. But now what I need to do is pull out everything else and clean all that as well and bleach all the walls behind. See, I hate the way it looks with the AC, but that's just how it's gonna have to be. We'll start with the biggest thing. I could put it down here and just lower that shelf, but now we have an issue. Hmm, so I guess I could put the incubator there. That works for now. I'll probably be using this a lot more in videos as well. So I guess like right here in the corner actually works. I think that's good. I do want it like high and out of the way. I'm thinking about putting the other shelf probably here. The last thing I need to do is like go through and organize like all the final stuff like my pipettes, like baggies, just funnels, like random like attachments for pieces. But I do need to get ready because I have a doctor's appointment and then I'll come back and do the organizing and then the goal is to get this room fully finished tonight. It feels great in here, it smells great in here. I'm already motivated to formulate something but I still have a living room, a kitchen, a laundry room and my other spare bedroom to clean but those shouldn't be as hard the spare bedroom will be super hard that is literally all the junk i need to get rid of because the last thing i need to do is actually just like put away all of this crap right here on these two shelves let's see if this works i don't know if you guys seen this but i love like the little handle on the top it's honestly like very like very very easy to like move around and it's way lighter than it looks it looks like it'd be pretty heavy can you guys tell me if this is normal do you see this is like open it's just like open wiring right there and then this is just i probably shouldn't stick my finger in it but that is just open right there and then this is open and you can see wiring here's the button which i'm assuming is the like power on and off button and then that is where we plug in our cord 
But like, what is up with this exposed wiring? Is that, is that normal? I see DC and AC in there. And it kind of looks like an orange, oh, you could see it right there. There you go. See, it's kind of like orange or like coppery. And then it says DC AC on there. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some Googling. Let's just keep going to see if this works. Hey, this is on. She's all lit up. Very fancy. So you don't have to do any routine maintenance, that's great. You just keep it clean. When cleaning, use a damp cloth to wipe down the internal or external parts of the incubator. Avoid the use of solvents as they may attack the product housing. In addition, always ensure that the fan vents are clear of dirt or any obstruction. This is all I found of it on the back and that doesn't even look anywhere near what mine is. I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna leave it on, see if it stays like around the temperature it's supposed to be. As of now, it's doing pretty good staying at 30 degrees Celsius and it like drops a degree every once in a while and like when it drops, you can hear it click back on. I finally have the whole place organized, so let's do a tour. Okay, so there's the door, and yes, it has a hole in it. It's had a hole in it since I bought this place. I need to put a poster there to cover it up. So I have my TV, and what I love about this is that it does like pull out. It's just really handy when formulating, because sometimes I have things in front of the TV and I can't see it, and I have to pull it over to the side. So that is handy to have in a formulating room because we just need something to do and something to watch while we're formulating, right? So this surface I'm planning on just keeping it empty and it's gonna be like my surface that, I don't know, like I keep notebooks out on and stuff like that, just like where I'm writing notes. But this is gonna be like my drawer of like notebooks and stuff. But this drawer just has like, I don't know, like remotes. It's just kind of empty right now to be honest. And then down here, this is where I'm gonna put some like photography stuff since I have my photography stand right here. That way I can just like grab any props that I want. So I'll fill that up eventually. And then I have this random three tier corner shelf I got from Ikea that I'm not really using, I guess, anymore. So I just put random things on it. Here is my photography stand, replica surfaces. I really, really like this place. They are, each background is like $80, so they are pricey, but this stand that they sell is literally game changing. You can raise it up, you can raise it down, you can move it around because it's on wheels. You can lock the wheels. It's so nice. The only thing I wish is I do wish it was wider. I hate how skinny it is, so. Moving over here, we have kind of like my equipment tables. I'm still considering moving the incubator down here since I probably won't be using it that often. It's kind of just taking up space. I don't know, but I don't really want it in front of my AC, so I guess it'll just stay there. I did leave it on overnight and it stayed around 30 degrees Celsius, so I think it works totally fine. That little basket just has like electronic like cords and stuff in it that will probably just stay there and put cords there and stuff. Then over here we have my little stove top thing and then my overhead stirrer. And then I have two little baskets of towels. I have my immersion blenders. I'm thinking about just like keeping them in this basket. So then every time I need them, I just do, 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 do. And then when I'm done, put them back in the basket. Things might move around once I start to like actually work in here. And then I figured I would just keep the plastic wrap and Reynolds wrap like right here because this is where I always need to end up using the Reynolds wrap and then the plastic wrap, I don't know, whatever, I put it with the Reynolds wrap, it just makes sense in my mind. These are little experiments just chilling there so ignore those. Masks and then, I don't know, just another basket if I want to put anything in. I'll probably store distilled water down here. Those are just empty storage containers. I'll end up moving those. Basically every single one of these bookshelves have an empty shelf on the bottom besides that one and that one and then some of the other ones I'll be putting plastic like storage containers full of my sanitized beakers so here are the three shelves we're gonna go through up there we have some soap stuff that was sent to me from Brambleberry that is just a big jug of glycerin and then the rest of the humectants are right here and then next to the humectants, we have preservatives and chelating agents, which I only have one chelating agent. And then I have some thickeners right there. And then these are thickeners as well, but they kind of have like different categories, like 
synthetic polymers. Shout out if you watched my video uh, that's 40 minutes long where I talk all about synthetic polymers and natural polymers. Then over here we have natural polymers. Then down here we have amphoteric bubbly surfactants. We got non-ionic bubbly surfactants. And then we have anionic surfactants. These are both liquid and powder and then lumeral K, which is an oil soluble anionic surfactant. Then going to the next shelf. Okay, so up here we got some pH adjusters like sodium hydroxide and citric acid. I got some tools to open up containers and stuff. Like this opens up these containers from Formulator Sample Shop. Which, I'm gonna be honest, Formulator Sample Shop, if you are listening, I I recommend getting rid of these once you use these up because when you buy this and you first pour it, you, you just can't, it spills everywhere. And I end up wasting like a good amount of product because of that, because these openings really suck. So I personally, as a customer, recommend you getting rid of those. And it sucks that we have to buy something separate to open it with, as opposed to like anywhere else, they just sell them in like containers like this, and then we don't have to buy a tool to open it. So that's just my advice. Cause I really think something like that can discourage someone from repurchasing that when you can just easily buy the same ingredient from a bunch of other suppliers that sells it in a easier container. So moving down from there, we have soothing ingredients. Then I have vitamins. And then here are low HLB emulsifiers, except for cerebellina. I don't even, I don't, that's not an emulsifier, but it just makes sense because these are like oil gelling. So I put that there. I don't know, it just made sense in my mind. I it probably should go in like a different category, but whatever, that's just where it's going right now. Then here is co-emulsifiers. Under here we got cationic emulsifiers, then we have solubilizers, and then we have all-in-one emulsifiers. And this one is a cold process emulsifier. And then just storage containers, like I said, that I will be moving. We have proteins, we have CBD, which is kind of just chilling there. It's not really in a specific category. Fermented ingredients, I got two different collagen ingredients, so I just made that its own category. Two different peptides, that's for stretch marks, so I don't know, that kind of is like miscellaneous stuff. Then we have a bunch of extracts. Here we have brighteners. This is an ingredient that like increases the absorption, I think, of ingredients, if I remember correctly. I don't really remember. I don't know. I bought it, uh, I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it was something like that. And then these are antioxidants. Moving down, we have chemical exfoliants. Here we have like juice, fruit juices, like juice powders, and then apple essence. I don't know, I just put those together. And then some hair care products. And then here we have like bases. I didn't really know like what to do with these either, like what category to put them in. But they're all just a bunch of bases that I've been meaning to use. I just, I don't know, I just never got around to using them. I hate when I do that with my ingredients. This little corner is just like where I store a bunch of like tripods and stuff. And then these are just like broken beakers I like to have hanging out because I do use them every once in a while. Like I'll put like a gallon baggie in them to like pour in my lotion and stuff, you know? Here we have some emollient esters. Then we have silicones. This is just very random. Menthol crystals, perfume base. And then this luxury moisturizing mist modified. I don't know what this is and I don't even remember buying it. So I need to figure out why I bought that. Here we have waxes. And yes, I know this isn't a wax. It's here because if, it, if it's in my butter category, I'm gonna forget it. And I need it like right here staring at me because I've been meaning to formulate with it for a while and I just, I need to remember it exists. Okay, now we have oils. And then here again, it's kind of just like a random mix. It's like oil thickeners, which I guess cerebellina would probably actually go good there in that category as well. So yeah, they're like oil thickeners, but then also like other oil soluble ingredients like oil soluble hyaluronic acid. I can't describe what that is right now. I don't have the brain capacity for it. And then just like, I don't know, just random things, okay? It's like oil soluble things. Then we got butters, that one's pretty simple. So if you sell and you buy mass amounts of oils or if you're like a soaper or something, Soaper's Choice is the best place to buy large quantities of oils or glycerin. Highly recommend that place and they ship really, really fast. Then this turned out way more satisfying than I expected. 
This is my fragrance oil collection and I'm so happy with how it turned out. And I decided to organize them by supplier. I figured that just looked the best. And then underneath we have essential oils. We just got some extra space just in case. And then flavor oils. Then down here we have like oil soluble coloring like micas and stuff. And then over here we have like a lot of like water soluble colorings but still like oil soluble down here then down here i didn't label this anything because it's kind of just like random powders that i need except for that that's not a powder that is actually an antiperspirant but it didn't work for me but it probably will work for you because no deodorants ever work for me and then there's some molds which i'm hoping to like use these more often i want to make more fun stuff specifically for my niece here we have some random powders. Then here we have exfoliants. So we got sugars. Here, I don't know, I just kind of grouped those together for no apparent reason. These are seeds. Some of these aren't even sold by Lotion Crafter anymore. I actually got these so long ago, but don't think seeds expire. Then I have these exfoliants. Again, I don't know why they're grouped together. Maybe because they're just from All Making Cosmetics. I was just trying to make it look a little nicer. And then coffee grounds as an exfoliant. And then my big thing is sugar. I do need more. And then salts. And lastly, we have clays down here. Okay, so on top was just a bunch of stuff I had stored in here. And those are all things from like my business. <laughs> like just like the last batch of bubblegum lip scrub I made. It's like all melted right now because it's kind of hot in here. And then like my last batches of some body scrubs I made. And I just... You know, I just closed the business so abruptly and I literally, like I said, I have not really like done any undoing of my business until now. And now I'm finally taking care of all this stuff because I've just been so overwhelmed. Anyways, so now here is just like, I don't know, this is just like full of a bunch of random things that I use. So we have like my pH adjusting kind of stuff, scissors. Um, here are just like ice cream scoops I have stored in here. By the way, this is just like stained. That is not dirty. It's just stained. Then down here, this is like a bunch of like piping stuff. That's for piping as well. In here is like really random stuff that I want to organize once I have more clean containers. It's like funnels, scoops, some more ice cream scoops, some of whatever those are. I forget what they're called. I got my little hand mixer. I got these knives I use to like cut butters sometimes and then some scissors. Then down here, we have like baggies and gallon baggies I use sometimes. My storage of rubbing alcohol, I need to get more of that. And then gloves, these are like, I was looking for paper towels that don't like put lint everywhere. You know, like when you tear off a paper towel, there's just like a bunch of little like white things in the air. And then if you like wipe out a beaker, there's like some residue left. This, it won't happen. These have like no residue. Anyways, then we got some pipettes. Down here is very, very random. We have these like tea bags that I use for my turmeric infused oil video. These were what I used like actually when I was like formulating in here for my business. They're like little things you put over your feet in case like... I don't know, just to make sure it stays clean in here. Because I just hated, like, walking out and, like, using the bathroom and, like, my socks. And then walking back in here just, I don't know, sounded gross to me. So, I would put those on and off, like, whenever I came in here or left. And these are just, like, little, um, you know, like, little cups you would see in a restaurant. And then lids. And I use those to store little samples sometimes. But this is the very first thing I had when I started formulating. And I had very little amount of ingredients that I was able to fit all of them in here. I remember like this whole first row was like full of fragrance oils and I was like oh my gosh I need to like get a bigger space and that was when I cleaned out my spare room and made that my lab because I used to just formulate in my kitchen but that was back before I sold. And then that brings us uh, back to the door. So let's take a look at the center. Since I record in here it makes sense to have a table in the center but if you don't record and make videos, it probably makes more sense to have your table up against a wall like that. But this is just what works for me. I think I want to like keep my paper towels and like rubbing alcohol stored on the table just because I'm always using them and I'm sick of like bending down every time. Um, and then under here, I have a thing of pipettes, hand sanitizer, my gloves, my pH meter, which you always want to keep stored sitting up. So that's why it's like that. 
And then I have two little like smaller scales that I will use from time to time. A uh, take a temperature of things. And then my larger scale. This is like my go-to scale that I normally use. But whenever I'm making like really small batches, I will use this. Or if I need to use two scales at once, I will use one of these and this one. But um, I do think one of these scales are totally perfect for someone who's just starting out. The main reason I use this one is just because this only weighs up to 500 grams. And I normally make batches larger than 500 grams. So that's why I use this one. And I do have a coupon code for this. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen. And then there's some of those little wipes that don't add any dust that I like to keep on here for wiping out beakers. That is the tour. Oh, and then my shelf's up here. And I just keep the pans up there. I fill those with water to make water baths. And then up here, I have like all my attachments for my overhead stirrer. But that is the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed. Myself with music and find someone to listen